Hi guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to JM Squared Vintage. We are here today with another Goodwill Bins haul. It's not a huge haul today. It's only about 20 pieces, but we've got some really interesting items to go through. One in particular that I'll show you at the end of the haul, you will be floored at what these go for on the resale market. And chances are you have some iteration of this in your thrift store and you've been walking past it every time you're there. But before we get started, if you like thrifting, if you like vintage, if you like flipping for profit, be sure to hit subscribe down below. Uh, we do all of that here. We have a ton of fun. We'd love to have you along for the ride. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see the goods. Let's see what the Goodwill gods gave us this week. All right. The first item we've got this week is this really cool Talbots. Uh, it's like an open weave shawl sweater. You see how kind of like sheer this is so this is something you obviously have to wear something underneath but it's this kind of cool open knit texture and it's really got a beautiful drape to it i think it's like a rayon drape but it's long sleeve and it's got a shawl front with kind of an exaggerated collar uh, again it's talbots it's not going to be a ton of money but the quality is there i love selling talbots um you know so maybe 20 to 30 dollars on this piece up next here, we've got another bread and butter piece, and this one is from Chico's. This print is absolutely wild, y'all. Like, if you look closely at this, it is actually a print of sequins. So it actually looks sequined, but without the heavy sparkle, even though there is lace applique on top. But anyway, it's this lime, lime green and blue kind of tunic top. It's got like a chiffon bottom to it. It's, it's a longer top, and I love when they do this. It's... Uh, Anybody who's worn kind of longer tunic tops knows the joy of the back hem kind of sticking to your jeans and any kind of jersey is going to do that. This is the solution. They put a little bit of kind of like a rigid chiffon material at the bottom so it floats. Anyway, probably $20 on this one and it should go pretty quickly. It's a very interesting top. A really, I mean, can you see that print? Can you see that that is actually sequin printed? pearl printed. It's wild. Up next we have this Brandy Melville little cropped nubby sweater. Brandy Melville, you know, sold at Nordstrom. Doesn't go for all that much money, but it is back to school and this is very much like of the moment. Um, people will be shopping for stuff like this from this brand. You know, maybe $20 on this. It's in fantastic condition. Super warm, super cozy. I believe this is a size small cropped silhouette so yeah it's a good little find next up so this I kind of took a chance on the quality was really nice so I don't know much about this brand and the brand is called publish today for tomorrow and it's these kind of cute little men's I guess they're swim trunks they've got little uh, grommets in the back pocket for drainage so I just like the color I like black and white obviously that's kind of my vibe um, but again the quality felt really nice so I decided to like roll the dice on these I'm not quite sure what I'll get for these on the resale market maybe $20 but um, I, I know I've seen this before in the in the in the bins so if this is something that sells really quickly or sells for a good price I'll be sure to mention it and um, pick up more when I see it. Up next here, we've got this really pretty cornflower blue sweater from Madewell. Now again, Madewell doesn't sell for too much money, but their quality is always really nice. And right now is like peak time for it. You can tell that I am sourcing for back to school um, pretty hardcore right now. I just, and I love this color. I think it's so pretty. So it's got a little bit of a almost like a, a waffle feeling knit on the front and then it's got a smooth kind of regular knit on the back. And if you look on the inside of the collar, there's these little buttons all the way around. I'm not quite sure what they're there for other than little decorations, but anyway, I thought it was a cute sweater. It's a size small and I'll probably get 20, $25 on this. But again, you know, Madewell doesn't sell for too much money, but their quality is very nice. Next up, true to my heart, we've got this cute little Free People Beach uh, striped boat neck sweater. I, this just feels so evergreen, so classic. It's got these kind of elbow length sleeves. These aren't quite three quarter length. They'll stop like right here. 
and a boat neck. This is a very classic silhouette. And three people beach, so it's a nice quality cotton. Um, it'll wash nice, it'll wear nice. And it's something that will just be in style forever. The black and white striped shirts never go out of style. So great find, especially for the bins. Maybe 20, $25 on this. The next thing we grabbed here, this was definitely a gamble. I, I, I grabbed it out of the pile and it felt really nice. Like the quality felt nice. The textile felt really nice. The finishing felt high end and the graphic print felt really high quality. I, I don't know how to describe <laughs> a good quality graphic print, but if you, if you know, you know, it's just kind of a, like, you know, that this isn't going to crack and peel off quickly. So the tag on it was Lauren Moshi. Beverly Hills. Hopefully that's coming in clear there for you. And when I looked it up when I got it home, uh, some of the t-shirts were going between like $40 and $100. Now I'm sure that there were some that are, you know, like collector's items. So I don't know if I'll get anywhere close to these, but you know, I, I'm rolling the dice. I like to learn new brands to keep my eyes out for. I feel like I've seen this once or twice in the thrift before. Um, so yeah, if, if it does sell quickly, I will be sure to mention it and, uh, and you know, market as something for everybody to keep an eye out for when they're at the thrift. But it's kind of an interesting print uh, with a little bit of a dull main sleeve, it probably comes to about elbow length, you know, a little bit longer. But again, textile finishing all you can tell are like, these are, these are high end. This was an expensive t-shirt when it was first bought. So yeah, TBD on that. So next up here, we've got one from Club Monaco. I mean, guys, in the bins, Club Monaco in the bins, in perfect condition. It's this gorgeous 100% silk pattern blouse. I love that it has a little bit of like, it almost has a little bit of a pajama feel. This is not actual piping. There's no cord in here, but it's just a, like a little edge detail on the pockets as well, on the collar. And it's this just like beautiful little simple black and white pattern. Let's see if we can get up close there. And again, in absolutely perfect condition, size medium. I'm not sure what I'll get on this guy, maybe 40 or $50. Club Monaco is incredibly expensive at retail price. I cannot believe I found this in the bins. This was a find. This is borderline grail territory. Just beautiful. Now, next up here, we've got one from L.L. Bean. Now, L.L. Bean does not fetch the same price as the equivalent sweaters from Patagonia. However, it is still L.L. Bean. It is still made with incredibly high quality. And this is a 3XL, you know, which is a great size. The, the fact of the matter is, you know, when, when brands are making items, they start with a set spread. So maybe they'll make 100 extra smalls, 150 smalls, 400 mediums, 2,000 larges, 2,000 extra larges, then they're back down, you know. So as you get to these kind of much smaller and much larger sizes, the quantities that are out there are just significantly lower. And the farther away from that like medium large range that you go, the the rarer they are. So finding a 3X LL Bean in perfect condition, this should go pretty quickly. And you know, hopefully it's going to somebody who's in the market for this exact jacket, this color, but hasn't been able to find it on the website. I mean, this is, this is borderline brand new condition. I mean, there's a little bit of, a little bit of wear here on the cuffs, but I mean, as somebody who has worn Patagonia Better sweaters for so long, I can tell you that this is like two wears worth. So this was a great find. Oh yes. Next up here, we've got this beachy dream of a sweater from Free People. It's this white cotton linen drapey sweater with the kind of bell sleeves that I love so much nice v-neck it is a size extra small but it probably like looking at this this could easily fit a small maybe even a medium you know if you don't want that oversized fit on somebody who is extra small this will be a large oversized sweater but I just thought that this was so pretty and so beachy and so like it's 
quality materials, quality finishing, you know, and it's something that'll be in somebody's closet forever. Like this will never go out of style. This will always be something you just throw on over your bathing suit and call it a day. I'll probably get 30, 35 on this. I love finding free people cotton linen sweaters. I just, I love the feel and I love the drape of that fabric. The next thing we got here is this adorable tennis dress from Leha, Leha or Leja? I'm probably butchering this name. Close in on that tag. I've seen this at my local sporting store um, and it's a pretty pricey brand, uh, but I just thought that this was super adorable. It's this like icy blue. It's a size medium, so it's a good size. It's got a little ruching on the front. It's got a, it's got a built-in like sports bra it's straight down on the bottom and it's got these little like kick pleats at the bottom uh cute seaming and then at the back you have this little bow back and i like that it's not a completely open back like this is not a tennis dress that's made for fashion like i know that there's a lot of tennis dresses today that are being like made to be worn you know to brunch with your girlfriends but <clears throat> this is built for tennis and the quality is really nice like all the stitching is really nice like this is this is a good piece. I'm not quite sure what these go for. I know that new they go for like over a hundred dollars. So maybe $40 on this. Fantastic condition. What a great find. Next up here, we've got this, this little piece is from Anthropology, and I just, I just pulled this off of my line. So it's a little bit stiff. I always, I'll do a wash on everything. And if it's in any way something that I question putting in the dryer, I will air dry it. So I will steam this and soften it up. But it's this adorable little like double gauze dress, cap sleeves uh, with a little kind of drawstring neck. And this is from Saturday Sunday, which is I believe an anthropology brand. It's a size small and it's in this gorgeous little mustard yellow. It's got this ruffle down at the bottom with a raw hem. So I'm not sure if this is a dress or a beach cover-up. I think it can really go as both. It's not really see-through, but it is light and airy and gauzy. So a summer staple for sure. Uh, probably $25, $30 on this. It's in really fantastic condition. Like it does not look like it's been worn. Oh, next up here, we've got this little, I'm telling you the athletic dresses were showing up in full force today. This little Patagonia dress. I've never really seen a Patagonia dress before, but it's got this really pretty V neck and V back. And this ruching at the bust is so gorgeous. I tried this on and it, this really is very flattering. Cute little cap sleeves and it's a size, where is it? It's a size medium. You can see that there. And it's about, you know, it's knee length. So this is, I mean, this would be a great travel dress to be able to like throw in your suitcase. You can sweat in it, you know, you can roll it into a ball and it will not wrinkle. Um, this is a cool little piece. I'm not quite sure. I've never sold a Patagonia dress before, but maybe 30 or 40 bucks on this. A really cool find. I'll report back on that when it sells. Next up, we got this gorgeous little black top, and I hate to inform you that this is not for sale. This is staying in my closet. <laughs> Occupational hazard. This is a gorgeous little shirt from Row and D, which I believe is another anthropology brand. And it's just this little block, boxy, short sleeve, black top. It's got this really pretty, like raw, raw edge detail on the collar. And if you flip around the back, it's got this pretty little knife pleat with a little peekaboo there. Uh, just a gorgeous little, just a gorgeous little shirt. I mean, a, ba a good, interesting, basic black. I clearly have a problem with black clothing and uh, not stopping anytime soon. I imagine that if and when I'm ever done wearing this, this will be up in my shop. But for now, she's all mine. So this is an interesting one. As a matter of rule, if I'm out thrifting and I see a collab piece, something like, you know, Adidas and Stella McCartney, or, you know, something in that vein, I will, t if the price is right, I will typically take a gamble on it. In general, anything that's a collab, 
tends to be more limited in production than standard straight lines. Um, so these I found, these are Nike Agassi shorts. And you know, the quality on them is really nice. Like I just, I like the finishing of an, on them. I like the fabric on them. They're a little bit, um, a little bit silkier than your typical like swishy shorts. They're kind of long line and they got like a little trim there on the bottom with the Nike swoosh. Um, when I came home and took a look at them, it turns out that these are from the 90s. So these are vintage. I'm not quite sure what they'll go for, um, but they're in really great shape. Here's the tag if you're, if you wanna, if you're interested in checking for this while you are thrifting. There you go. They're size medium. So TBD on what these will go for. I mean, if you look on Grailed, some of the Agassi and Nike pieces are selling for like 80, $90. I don't think I'll get 80 or 90 bucks for these, but you know, maybe a little bit more than if these were just, you know, straight up Nike tennis shorts. Tennis all over the place today. Next up here, we've got a brand that, um, <laughs> Let's just say you don't see it all too often in the bins, and that is APC. APC is a French design house. Um, everything is, it's very high end. Uh, your jeans are in the 200 to $300 range. Your t-shirts are $135. And this is this just really pretty little like cap sleeve. This is like a broadcloth cotton with a jewel neck and it's almost like a little bit of a check pattern. It's kind of olive green with a little kind of integrated pocket there on the front. Um, I am just not sure at what this will get. I haven't been able to find anything else like this online. Maybe $40, $50 on this. I mean, APC is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. If you see it in the thrift, grab it. If you see it in the bins, jump on it. <laughs> you just, you do not see this. Enough people know about APC that, um, you know, it, it, it'll go. If you don't grab it, it'll go. So this is an incredible find for the bins. There's like a little tiny speck of something here on the shoulder, and I'll work on getting that out. Um, but otherwise, it's in fantastic condition. Give it a little steam, and it'll look brand new. Next up, now, this one was a roll of the dice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it. <laughs> but it is a Supreme t-shirt. Um, just like a nice, simple pocket tee. You've got the sewn in logo here. I'm almost positive this is authentic. I mean, if you, I have felt fakes before and they feel like cheap t-shirts. This feels like a very high quality t-shirt. The cotton is heavy gauge. It's very soft. It washed up nice. I did one load of wash. It just has, this little stain here in the front. So I'm gonna work on getting that out. I mean, it's always gonna be worth rolling the dice with a Supreme shirt. If, if you know, if, if I can't get it out, maybe I'll sell it as damage for 10 or 15 bucks, or maybe I'll, you know, just donate it right back to the store. But like I said, I'm almost positive that this is authentic. All the finishing on here, all the materialization is definitively high end. So, I mean, obviously, something to look out for in the bins, in the thrift, wherever you are. Just if you do decide to get into Supreme or anything like this, make sure you know at least the like, key hallmarks to look for in terms of determining fake. Supreme is unfortunately faked very, very frequently. Um, but usually your first tell is the quality of the shirt itself. Pretty cool find. I'll report back if I sell this. This would be very cool. Next up here, we've got a gorgeous little shirt from Trina Turk. Guys, the bins this week, my God. Um, so we've got, it's this pretty like cream colored textured cotton. It's got these little three quarter sleeves. It's again off the shoulder and it's a nice stretchy neckline. So it should be very comfortable, not constrictive, you know, down to like a little boxy end there. I think this is a size medium. And it's in great condition. I mean, again, an incredible find at the bins. Something that is really beautiful, really classic. This will be in somebody's wardrobe for a very long time. It's a great find. Next up, we've got another, another high-end designer piece. And, um, I, you know, I just grabbed it again because I, uh, I like rubbed the back of my hand against uh, this fabric and I felt how soft this was. Now it, it's not 
polyester soft like this is high-end cotton soft and this is a little escada t-shirt this is a size extra large so i'm thinking this was supposed to be kind of like a form-fitting tee and if you look closely there's like sewn there's like embroidery detail on some of these on some of these letters it's just a really beautiful springy little top from Escada. Escada is again another like find it at Neiman Marcus kind of brand. Their t-shirts are probably $200 a piece. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get on this. I'm not quite sure how old it is, but um, maybe 30 or 40 bucks. Looks like there's a little bit of threading missing from one of the flowers. Uh, but what, what a cool find. And this t-shirt is absolutely butter soft finishing of course top notch I mean of course top notch what a find next up we've got this great pair of jean shorts kind of a nice like little cut off little cut off length their size I believe 22 from Torrid you know Torrid is just one of those brands for me that sells really quickly you know they make very high quality plus size clothing they know how to cut for a woman uh, with curves, which I love and appreciate. Um, I, you know, I won't get much for it, but it will go quick and somebody will be very happy to find this a full price. And they I mean, they're in great condition. I like that they have the little roll up cuff, but it's stitched down. Cause if you know how these things like to flip down or flip back up or roll up, um, you know, so a great find. And again, in just like great condition, these appear to be unworn. And finally, guys, this is the item that you're going to be surprised at how much it goes for. I actually saw a woman throwing, like when I first got there and I grabbed my cart, I saw a woman throw these back into the bins and this logo here flashed at me and I jumped on it. Now, I of course lived in a ski town for a lot of years, so this is very much my world. Um, ski and snowboard gear has always sold really well for me. It's something that's one of the reasons that I started doing Poshmark before I started doing it, you know, for more than just my closet. You know, I had a lot of ski pants and ski jackets and I wanted to sell, you know, they were in great shape, but maybe I wasn't wearing them anymore. Maybe they didn't fit me anymore and they had a lot of life left in them. So I started selling them and they always sold really quickly and really well for very good prices. The fact of the matter is ski gear and snow gear are very expensive. Now, ski gear goes much, 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 much higher than snowboard gear. Um, you'll see brands like Montclair or Juice, you know, that go well into the thousands of dollars for jackets. So back when I worked at the ski and snowboard shop, there was a Juice jacket and that's spelled K-J-U-S. You'll also see them in golf wear. So if, I'll see if I can, um, insert a logo here so you know what to look for. But back when I worked at the ski and snowboard shop, this one jacket that we had that I think at the time was selling for like $1,200, and this is probably 10 years ago, one of the selling points that I was told to discuss was that this jacket had more parts than a Toyota Camry, which seems like overkill. <laughs> to me, it seems like overkill, but you know, the fit is great, it feels great, it looks great, it makes you look fantastic in it, you know, so if, if you got the money and you want to and you want that like good on you they're great you know those things will last you an eternity but in the world of snowboard um you know there are a bunch of different brands if you haven't heard of any brands you've maybe heard of burton burton's kind of like the nike of the snowboarding world even though nike was in the snowboarding world for a while there but it's the brand that most people know you know sean white snowboarded for them everybody who's big ever was on the burton team and in the world of Burton, it doesn't get better than their AK line. And this is their line of like highly technical apparel. Um, everything that is an AK piece is Gore-Tex. And if you don't know about Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex is pretty much the gold standard for outer shell material for waterproof and breathability. It's what they do and it's they do it best. So this is a pair of, I mean, pretty much brand new condition men's size large, I mean, this is checking all the boxes, in a classic color, AK 
pants. I believe the I believe the model here is um, the swash pant. So this is 2L Gore-Tex, which isn't the top end. This goes up to 3L. But in the world of snowboard clothes, you know, typically, so ski clothes will start from like $99 on the extreme low end to like to the moon for your Juice and your Montclair. Whereas um, snowboard apparel typically starts in like the high 200s. Um, you can get some stuff in the hundreds for like super low end, but it starts really in the high 200s and really goes up to like 350 on the high end. And then AK pieces go up to like $600. So if this was the 3L pair, this would retail for about $599. But these are 2L, they still retail for almost $500. And on the resale market, because they are a class, they're in, they're in line right now, this is being sold in stores right now in this color, they're in great shape, I'll probably get about $200 for these. So it's something to keep your eye out for, especially that AK logo. Um, if you see it, just grab it. And if this is something you wanna add into your repertoire, um, this is my little soapbox moment as somebody who has lived in ski gear for a long time, I strongly recommend you invest in some tech wash. Gore-Tex and other technical um, materials with regular laundry detergents, their, um, their DWR, their durable waterproof resistance coating will start to disintegrate with regular laundry detergents. So there's, um, you can pick this up at any store generally that sells stuff like this, um, or you can get it on Amazon. I'll link it down below, but it's Nick, Nick Wax Tech Wash. So anytime I um, sell a piece, I will always wash it in this first because number one, it cleans it for them. You know, these are kind of difficult to clean. I don't want people to have to go to like a dry cleaner <laughs> with their brand new jacket that they just paid a hundred dollars for. But this also not only cleans it, it cleans it without interfering, without any kind of additives that interfere with the technical function of the fabrics. Um, but it also kind of re-ups the waterproof coating. It kind of reinforces the technical, to the technical fabrics. It's like $10. If this is something you want to get into selling, um, I, I urge you to pick it up. If these kind of clothes, you know, if you are a skier, if you are a snowboarder, if you are somebody who likes to ride you know, your cycle in the rain, if you live in the Pacific Northwest and you really depend on quality rain wear, pick this stuff up. It's the best. I mean, I think I've had this bottle for, let's see. Yeah, I've had this bottle for two years. I don't use it all that much. You don't need a lot in the wash, but anytime before I send out something like this, I will do a wash uh, in the tech wash so it is ready to go for them. But uh, grab this if this is something in your life. And that is it, guys. That is our haul for this week. Um, pretty interesting haul, good haul. You know, it's a good week. Um, you know, I just feel like I didn't find many of my bread and butter, like quick movers, but I found incredible pieces like Burton AK, Escada, and APC, and Supreme at the bins, guys. This is, it absolutely blows my mind. Uh, you know, it just goes to show, try not to go when you go to the thrift with an agenda. Like, let the thrift store show you what they have for you. <laughs> you know, go in and just have a completely open mind. Obviously, there's going to be things that you don't want to pick, right? So maybe you don't want any jeans. Just don't even go into the jeans because you might find some gems, you know? Like, don't go into the dresses if you don't need more dresses. But other than that, keep an open mind and just let them show you what they've got because you truly never know <laughs> they're going to give you. I am still, my mind is still blown about this. But all in all, I went to the location locally that is, uh, you pay by the pound and I spent about $33 on all of this. And all in, I've got about six or $700 worth of sales here, give or take, depending on offers. And profit wise, it's probably between four and $500 after taxes and after fees. So I'm not unhappy about that at all. It's a pretty good day for a light day at the bins. Um, but guys, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. You know, if you like what you saw, please, you know, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you along with me on this, you know, kind of crazy thrifting journey. Um, if you see anything you liked here, I'll have my closets linked down below. You know, feel free to make me an offer. They'll either already be up or coming up in the next few days. Um, and if you've found anything like this, if you've gone to the bins, you know, on a run of the mill Tuesday and all of a sudden came out with something like this, 
you know, put it in the comments below. I want to know what kind of grails you're finding in your, you know, your corner of this world. So, um, I really love, I really love hearing about other people's grail hunts and finds. But um, other than that, guys, have a fabulous week. Thank you again for for sticking around with me. Uh, it's been a ton of fun. But um, without further ado, guys, happy hunting, and I'll see you in the next one.